everyone and welcome to another product review. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This foundation retails for $5.99 US dollars, so $6 at the drugstore. It comes in 20 different shades in a one ounce bottle. I grabbed the shade Golden Beige to try out for you today. The one thing that I found to be a little bit different with this foundation and that I didn't really see any information on um, along their website was the little spatula guy that it comes with. Very interesting. So the description of the foundation straight from the website states that it is a new high performing skin perfecting foundation that underwent major road testing under seven different photo lighting conditions to deliver flawless camera ready makeup every time. It is said to be a high performing breakthrough formula that features light adjusting complex to help prevent white cast in photos and it has been tested under seven different lighting conditions. So that is their sell point is that this foundation is going to make you look flawless under any kind of lighting when you're taking, you know, your selfies or your photos or if you're at a party and stuff like that. So I love that. You know, that's great, great marketing. I, I, I understand the concept behind that, but I also want to see how it wears. So that's what we're going to be testing out today. Aside from that, there really aren't any other claims on the foundation as far as it being long wearing, you know, long lasting, full coverage, light coverage, medium coverage, like what kind of coverage it is, it doesn't really state. It only focuses on this, you know, you look perfect regardless of what type of lighting you're under theme. So we'll see how it wears, how it performs. That's why I do these videos for you all. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color correct the under eye area since I do that before I apply foundation. And then I'm going to come back in order to apply the foundation onto the face. Okay. So now I am back with color corrector on and hair up because I was getting kind of toasty in here. So now we can move on to foundation. Um, so hopefully I color matched myself pretty well. We'll see. I'm just going to put some of the foundation onto the back of my hand. I use a little spatula that it came with and I'm just simply going to apply it the way that I normally would. Does feel quite liquidy. Doesn't feel thick at all. I think I color matched myself correctly. Does have a, a little bit of a scent but nothing too Drastic. Okay, so now I just have a light layer of the foundation over on this side and I don't have anything over on this side. So I'm going to zoom you all in so that you can see the difference between, you know, a light layer of foundation on this side and bare skin on this side. Just to get a good comparison as far as how much coverage I am getting out of this foundation. Okay, so this is my skin with absolutely nothing on it. And then this is my skin with just the light layer of foundation. So as you can see, it's not, it's pretty light in coverage. I would call it perhaps, you know, medium coverage. I can definitely still see some of my imperfections. So definitely not full coverage foundation. Although I am going to try to layer it to see what kind of coverage I get and how that wears. Okay. So I've gone ahead and I built up a little bit here and I'm getting really good coverage gonna go ahead and finish off the rest before I show you another close-up. Okay, so initial thoughts. It feels kind of wet, <laughs> but I mean I just put it on so I, that's only initially what I'm getting from it is that it does feel kind of like wet in the face, um, but it doesn't feel wet. It's really, really strange. Um, so there is that. I did build up coverage here along the cheek area, but I didn't build up coverage anywhere else along the face. So now I will zoom you all in so that you can get a better look at what the foundation looks like along here and here. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like. Like I mentioned earlier, I did build up the coverage here um, because I could still see some of my little veins popping through after just one layer of foundation. So I was able to build it up there and now I have pretty good coverage, pretty nice coverage, I would say, along this side and also pretty good coverage along this side as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, finish off the rest of my makeup and then I will be right back. Okay, so now I am back with full face of makeup and 
so far so good. The foundation did finally set, um, so it doesn't feel wet anymore. Uh, when foundations feel wet on the skin initially, I'm always kind of like, Ugh, what is it gonna be like when I apply, you know, my bronzer and my blush and anything on top of it? Because if it's wet, chances are that it's not gonna blend as easily. But this one, I didn't have any issues with it. It finally set, so it doesn't feel like uh, wet anymore. <laughs> I guess that's all I can say about it. It is currently 12.40 p.m., so I do plan on coming back for a midday check-in at around 4, 4.30. So I'll see you all here soon. Okay, so now I am back for a midday check-in. It is currently 5.10, so a little bit later than what I said I would be back at. And the foundation still looks good. Like, it still looks good. Um, it doesn't feel wet on my skin at all. Um, I don't find it to be dewy or doing anything different. I, it's still holding up quite well. And yeah, it's... It's doing, a, it's doing a pretty good job so far. I'm going to zoom you all in so that you can get a better look at my skin up close after about, what, four hours of wear. Okay, so as you can see, nothing's really showing through. I mean, I know I have bronzer and I have blush and I have highlight, like there's stuff on top of it. But even with that, foundation really hasn't moved underneath. It's still looking pretty good. Um, and I can't really see any of my imperfections really showing through the foundation. And then same goes for this side. So as you can see, the foundation really hasn't done a whole lot of anything. It still is looking, it's still looking pretty good. So, so far after four hours, I am pretty impressed. I plan on wearing this foundation for about another three and a half hours, something like that. I plan on ending my day today at around 8.30, somewhere around that time frame, in order to give this foundation a good eight hours, you know, of wear. So I will be back at that time. So yeah, I'll see you in a few hours. Okay guys, so now I am back for my final check-in. It is currently 8.15, so I've almost worn this for a full eight hours. I'm just exhausted. I'm done with the day. I can't wait to wash everything off and just go to bed. So that is why I'm just going to call it good for right now. I mean, what's another, what, like 30 minutes? But the foundation, yeah, it held up. It held up, I must say that. So I'm going to zoom you all in so that you can get a better look at what it looks like after almost a full eight hours of wear. Okay, so this is what my skin looks like up close. As you can see, I don't feel like the foundation's really done anything different. Um, I don't think like it's worn off. It has not, you know, separated or settled into anything. I feel like overall, it still pretty much looks the exact same way that it did eight hours ago <laughs> or almost eight hours ago. So now that you've gotten a look at my skin up close, I can get into giving you my thoughts on the foundation and I must say that I actually really like it. I like I like the foundation. I actually like it a lot. Considering the fact that it is a six dollar drugstore foundation, it performs really really well. It didn't settle into any of my lines. It didn't wear off where I was expecting for it to wear off. Typically it'll wear off here like along the jawline for me and sometimes along the cheek area just because throughout the day I am carrying children. I am tending to them. I am picking things up and they do tend to rub on my face. I didn't feel like anything really wore off on the face so that was definitely a plus. Like I mentioned it didn't settle into any of my lines like my laugh lines. Sometimes I'll have foundation settle into there. It didn't do that there. Or here, sometimes the foundation will settle or it'll crack or it'll just, you know, you can just see it like you've worn it for more than a few hours. And this one, surprisingly, didn't really do a whole lot of anything aside from stay put. Um, so I was pleasantly surprised by that. I was also pleasantly surprised by the fact that it didn't make me dewy along the T-zone whatsoever. I do have normal skin um, pretty much along everywhere aside from the T-zone where I sometimes do tend to get a little bit oily. Um, and this one didn't, it didn't give me that whatsoever. I don't see any kind of dewiness bouncing off of my forehead or my nose at the moment. So it did wear, it wore really well. Um, I must say that it wore really well and I really am pleasantly surprised. The only thing that I must say that I'm kind of disappointed by is just the shade range because they do offer quite a few shades. I mean, they offer 20, which is quite a few. But once I really looked at them, it's like they're not really catering so much to the very fair or the very deep skin tones, just 
in the middle. You know what I mean? Like, not here, not here, but just here. So if you can find your shade, definitely give it a shot. At least try it out because I feel like for $6, it's definitely at least worth a shot, especially if you're looking for a good drugstore foundation. Um, inexpensive because I know some of the drugstore foundations are getting kind of pricey. This one at $6 is definitely worth a shot in my opinion. So those are my thoughts on the foundation. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed this review today. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah! Bye!